Hey guys, what's Crackalackin? I'm Cyramic, and I don't know why I said Crackalackin, but whatever, I did deal with it. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so welcome back to the fourth episode of the Kcraft series. Let's play Thingamabob in 1.9 Minecraft. Yes, so these chest, chest eye, chest, chesties, these chests, chests, chests have been changed up a little bit. Uh, I or I just went through and organized them, that's all. So I got like enchanted books, I got saddles. Okay, I never noticed how many saddles I have. Holy crap, and like bows, and like rods, and extra random crap. And fish, look at all the fish. Look at all these fishies. All right, but today the game plan is to make an automatic, a fully automatic AFK breeder for villagers thing. I don't know if it's going to be fully automatic. But me and Duo com comply come I don't even know the word. We um we brought together a plan for like an arcway. Arc is it arc or arch? I don't know. I don't English. And then but we just made a little thing. And then this is what the design is. I kind of had the basis of it, but then good old Duo came through. And I asked him to pretty up, pretty it up a bit, since he's a little bit of a bit better builder, better builder, than I am. That's a tongue twister. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is like somehow get these villagers into this minecart so I can send them off on their journey. That was such a weird way to put it. Send them off onto their journey. All right, well that guy went. That guy was a trooper. I think he's already going down there since I already built like the staircase. So I have to, oh god. So the th only thing is next I have to like build this whole like back part. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna break that so you can't go anywhere anyway. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Can you, like, go off to the side? No! Don't go off! No, I need you up. Alright, I'm just not gonna touch you. Alright, but I think I'm gonna get the whole, like, design thing done, and then I'm, I'm gonna meet you guys back here. Hopefully I have, like, the whole basics of it done so that later on in the episode I can come through and pretty up this whole room. Then I'll show you something cool with that staircase that... I, I didn't show you yet, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you what I did with the staircase since last clip, I should say. I, d I didn't show that this was here. But what I did was I did I made, like, a whole, like, hidden door thing, which is really cool. So I can access this without people actually knowing that it's here. Later on, I'll make that lever a little less obvious, and I'll, like, keep going down that way with, like, something else. But I wanted to come here and trade with the villagers because this will actually get them willing to breed. So if I do that, he should get happy. And you should see little sparkles. There we go. There we go. Alright, now over here, if we go over to the chicken, let's trade with him. And then he should get happy as well. Yes, there we go. And now both of them should be willing to breed. That's how it works. Let's see if they unlocked any. Hmm, not bad. That's an easy way to get chicken. So if we, once we see hearts, that should be good. That's how we know that they're willing to breed. And then, and then they're standing just so slightly that when, once they have a baby, the babies will just drop straight through into this little collection chamber. I know it sounds horrible because they're like collecting their babies in a chamber. That's inhumane, but you know, you got to get the job done. That's, that's what you got to do. Alright, so I'm going to toss some food at them. Maybe they will, like, start breeding then. Will they pick it up like that? Yep. So let's drop some food for you. Let's drop some food for you. Let's drop some potatoes. Potatoes. Maybe then they will want to breed. Huh. I'm really hoping that they will. Huh. 
That's all the food I got for you guys. Guys, I fixed the problem. Although it looks super ugly at the moment, I've fixed the problem. So I need this this little guy up here to detect there's that that there's a village here, but won't like see those underground those underground villages. Villagers, I, I it's so confusing. I have no idea what the mechanics are. I've been watching YouTube videos to figure out what I did wrong. So I figured it out, but like if we come back down here, let's press the lever. These these two, as soon as I put them up there, these two made lovin'. They made a little baby. So I wonder So if I give them more food, would they be willing like right away? Oh, I'm missing. Oh! I do not want to give them my pickaxe. Although that'd be pretty cool if they could just carry around a pickaxe for me. Let's see if they're just gonna get willing to breed like right, right away. Yay! It's working! We know it's working because this guy started getting those hard things. Which is actually really good. We need, we need those. But right now what I'm gonna do is like make a collection chamber thing for these that fall down here because we need them to like go back up through the system. <gasps> Are they gonna have another baby? <gasps> they had another baby right before our eyes. That was a little creepy and like bleh, I didn't want to see that happen again. But it's a librarian. This little baby's a br librarian, which is good because that means we could get books out of him. All right, guys. So I'm back and I got some of these villagers back up to the top, and I found this villager. And oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. We could get mending books from this guy. Oh. Holy crap. So I'm going to get a mending book. And this episode, what should I put mending on, guys? So I'm going to close this up because I absolutely do not want them to die at all because that guy is going to be my life. I'm definitely making a shop for these mending books because that will be a huge hit. All right, guys, I think I'm going to put mending on my fortune pick since it's starting to die. I... I'm going to go repair this like as soon as possible, but mending on a fortune pick and a silk touch pick. If you're asking me, that's pretty amazing. All right, I'm about to kill all of them. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go. Look at my durability. Look at that go way up there. Look at it. Man, it's cruising. Is it gonna get fully repaired? No. That's, that's good though. Look at that. We got more than halfway. I also want to announce that me and Demonic Ninja have been working on this huge house project. And this is where we're going to combine forces and sh and put our shops together. Which is we're going to be selling like enchanted books and like have villagers in here and like OP gear. So this is like the grand house you could say and then off over here we're gonna have like a medieval th like themed town with like different little little houses and then each house is gonna be its own shop so people can purchase a shop f plot I could say for like I don't know like five diamonds for to have the house that I'm gonna pre-build for pre-build for them and then they're gonna put their shop inside so then yeah so this is our shopping district. It was moved from out of the nether because there was, I feel, we felt like this was a little bit more convenient than going all the way to the nether. So yeah, I feel like this house is really coming along well. And then we have great ideas for this whole side, this whole um, side of town. Okay, guys, I think it's time to start actually building the rest of these walls now that we've got the actual a farm I could we could say set up and I'm breaking everything jeez <laughs> so duo came by and we were in a call together and we were making up 
we were coming up with cool ideas for like how to have this house or not really a house but this tunnel way and we kind of came up with this design so I'm gonna try to copy this as much as possible okay guys I'm back and I finished this for the most part I got it up to here because I don't know what's gonna go back down there but I found a small little problem right here with this pillar um, that I can't place like the half slab right how it's supposed to be so I think I'm gonna have to do that but I'm gonna put like a lantern there of some sort I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet but I think since it would be awkward just to have that one there so I might do like every other one is going to be a lantern which would look pretty cool I think and it would give us a lot of light so I don't have to use ugly torches this is the next day guys so I've done a little bit off camera since I you've last seen me in the last clip there and I made up a whole plan right here and I've been breeding villagers non-stop they've been going and going and right now I'm gonna actually get a mending book so I can I can put mending on another thing which I'm probably gonna do an armor piece but yeah, this is this part's really cool, so let me explain this. The babies go right here, but they can't jump up. But once the adults jump up, they go all the way up top to there. And then they get shot up here. They travel over and plop into here. So right now, this is where all of mine are. As you can see, there's quite a bit in here. Let's see, there's about like 20 in there. 25-ish. But what I did was I made these. These are really cool because it like kind of takes one and places them each places them in each cell. So if I press a button, look at that. Look at that. It goes all the way down. That's so cool. I have solved the problem. I don't know how I did it. I don't even remember how I did it. But I got these um these villagers into their little pods now, which is really great. And actually, I brought them out front here, and I got one of each kind. So we got, if I can even reach their head without falling off, we got an armorer, we got a farmer, we got a, that's a butcher, but I named it so that it wouldn't, like, despawn when it was a zombie, because I cured that one. And this one is a, bl bl shoot, this one's a blacksmith, I'm pretty sure. If I can reach him, there we go, yeah, he's a blacksmith. We got the librarian with the mending we got a cleric as well so yeah that's great um i actually got two mending books from trading i went over to demonic space and i used his um nano farm which i'm going to create this episode so yeah i used that and that gave me a lot of carrots so i came over to the farmer and started trading a lot and this farmer is gonna be so helpful because he like you could just sell like anything to him and he will take it anything farming related same with this cleric if we have a zombie farm that'd be easy that's basically easy mending books and then what I'm gonna do is eventually I'm gonna get enough mending books to make a shop which is gonna be so nice because that's gonna be such a big hit and I know it is but right now I'm trying to keep this place down here hidden because I feel like if I open it up to the public, people are just going to, like, use my villagers. And I kind of don't want that because I kind of want I kind of want to shop out of it. So I know that, that kind of sounds like I'm being selfish. But you know what? It's business, man. Get with the program. All right. Well, I'm at the community enchanting table with the anvil. So I'm going to put mending on my helmet and my boots. Which is sweet. Now now I can get these fully repaired and they will always stay prepared. Just prepared. Repaired. Just like my diamond chest plate. And now we are going to start the nano farm. Okay guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I actually did decide to end it this time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. If you liked this episode and want more of this type of episode... Subscribe to my channel for more, like, comment, favorite, do all that shenanigans. And then, yeah, so I think that's all for this episode. We got a nice breed breeding hall. 
plus a nano farm, which is going to help immensely. So this is going to be great. I think next episode is going to be a building episode with the shops district because we are building a medieval town. And I'm kind of in charge of it. I kind of put myself there. I, we didn't really have a vote to who's in charge. But yeah, so that's... So that's that, but so stay tuned in for next episode, which should be a fun build, even though I'm really not good at building on camera, as you could probably tell by earlier in this episode. But thank you all for watching, and I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>